Coming in 12 and 2, 4 and 1 in the ACC's had a nice win against Sam Latona in sudden victory, lost to Arini in sudden victory. Four-time NCAA qualifier in the 2020 All-American for the Panthers, ready to go. Molly Arbor will explode quickly. He took down Mickey Philippi on a nice double when they wrestled. And Mickey Philippi is going to go to his typical two or one and try to slow this match down because he feels that on the mat he has advantage over every 133-pounder in the country. This is exactly where Mickey Phillippe wants to be. He wants to tie up the wrist and then work his offense from there. And Marlon Yarborough wants to get out of that, create some space, and explode. That little spot right there where he dragged him forward soon as Mickey stood up. Marlon Yarborough should have took a shot. Yarborough, the Ohio native, won a state championship in the state of Ohio, 2021 state champion, two-time Fargo All-American. Trying to get out of Philippi's Russian tie. Mickey Philippi loves to work. Two-on-one has an arsenal of foot sweeps and trips once he gets that arm secured. You're absolutely right. He loves this position. How do you attack this? You can one crowd. You crowd, you crowd the two-on-one with a Russian. And he just wears you down. He just wears you down. He'll try and get that little leg inside and then go to a Merkel. So once he gets that two on one, he'll put that same side left leg in and then go over the top for a Merkel. Good duck under there. Look at the oh, good defense. Hey, I'll tell you what, he got the stall call. Nice duck under by Mr. Yarbrough. Duck under, get him behind. Good. Good hits by Mickey Philippi. Philippi is tough as they come to score on at this weight, 133. He's going to wear Yarbo down, going back to the same thing. Two on one. I'm going to low you and low you and low you. And there he is. He's behind. We've seen this too many times. Years and years and years. Of this is what Mickey Philippi does. What a career it has been for Philippi at Pitt. His final go around, a four time ACC finalist. He has won a couple of ACC championships. But as he told us, and he reminded us, those titles came earlier in his career 19 and 20. Last couple of years, he has been the runner up, both times losing to Corbin Myers. And Philippi is just in that veteran presence in Keith Gavin's room, even with these back to back. Incredible recruiting classes, guys like Philippi and Matthews and Bonacorsi, who we will see later. I mean, you just have a wonderful trio of leaders and veteran experience that have seen every situation that the sport can throw at you. Has seen it and are not rattled by it. So you, you may have seen a situation, but you see it enough, you, you kind of expect it. And this is where decision time is. Mickey Philippi feels very comfortable in the match, so if he's if he has to go underneath, he feels like he's gonna get out, if he's on top. So Mickey Philippi takes bottom. <laughs> Philippi started his career at Virginia with Steve Garland. Keith Gavin was an assistant with Garland at the time, and also Jordan Lee. He had one good year in Charlottesville, red-shirted, won 25 matches that year, and then he was homesick. He comes from a big family. He wanted to be back in the Pennsylvania area, so he followed Gavin to Pitt following Gavin's hiring in the spring of 2017. He had to sit out a year due to the intra-conference transfer rule, which was in place at the time. So here's a guy who started two straight years wrestling unattached. And still wrestling, and it is a joke that He's a, a good shot there by, by Yarbrough. But once again, Mickey Phillips has been in this position before. He knows his body. 
but Yarbo is still going. And this is, this is not where Yarbo wants to be in the wrist control fight with Mickey Phillippe. So Mickey Phillippe is either going to try and lead that hand to the mat or put that left leg in to look for a Merkel. But he'll just wear you down with that. Pushing and prodding and pushing and prodding. Yeah. And at, at that time, he tried to slide it to the mat and good job by Yarbo as the hand went to the mat, he went to a double. Little film study there. Halfway through period two, Philippi with a 3-0 advantage at 133. Marini and Latona over on mat number one, Virginia Tech and NC State. Three teams coming in, the favorites on paper, the Wolfpack, the Hokies, and the Panthers. Anytime you have an opportunity to go head on head, like Matt One is watching, it's critical. Here, Pitt trying to hold serve with the top seed at this weight, Philippi. And a stalemate call with 22 seconds to go. So the thing is, it's interesting with Mickey Philippi is that he gets on his hands, and then as any wrestler, you're supposed to match the level of your opponent. But when you match his level, that's when Mickey Philippi grabs your wrist. Just like that. He's now, this is where Mickey Philippi is. Very tough. So it's a tough situation to be in. You lower your level, you want to lower your level with your opponent. That means your hands are down, and then Mickey Philippi grabs and gets that grippy type of wrestling match. Start on the feet here in the third period. Stall on Philippi as Yarbrough right off the whistle came in. He's going. And this is where you want to be with Mickey Philippi. Keep him off. Keep him on his heels. Yarbrough earned that stall ball. He tagged Philippi earlier in the match, so Yarbrough gets the point. Now he's a takedown away from tying this up. Three to one. Philippi submarines his way in. And this is where you give the advantage to Philippi. Out of bounds. Now, now, at this point, the young underclass was starting to get a little confident. It's 3-1. It's Riding time is not in anyone's favor here. And so now, he wants to clear his wrist. He does not want to, to kick his wrist, and that's a good shot there. Good shot there. And there's a tick down by Mickey Philippi. So this is what happened. Fantastic. This is the, the maturation of Mickey Philippi. As I said before, when he goes down, other guys go down and gets to the grips and hands. But if you do not respect by going down with them, he takes a shot. So what do you do? I haven't figured it out. A lot of wrestlers have not been able to figure it out. The Philippi recipe for success in a 5-1 lead. Gets his legs in. The cross face action up top. Trying to work Yarbro over as we go two box. Let's take a look at what Latona and Arini are all tangled up with. A 3-2 lead for Latona inside a minute to go. Riding time is not a factor. Latona with the one-point lead. He's got to try to get that leg and bring Latona back to center. Nothing yet. There's no tick down there. No control. Sam Latona still has that leg. That's absolutely no control. He's got to crunch and maybe look for a cradle. He's looking for the cradle. his left toe in until finally Latona drags him out. Papalizio fired up. This crowd fired up. Ten seconds for Latona to try to hit the escape. Ten seconds and Latona is going to do it. At this point, I don't know what the stolen is, but if I am Kyrene, I'm dropping down. Dropping down. He's got to drop down. He's got to drop down. Look at this. 